Hi there! Welcome to your Benefits Company portal. Today, let's walk through a few simple steps to get you started. On the home page, you will see an overview of your company dashboard. Here, under Actions, is where you can enroll employees, allocate their benefits balance, view and edit employee tiers and schemes, and remind employees to activate their benefits account by resending an activation email or SMS. Here, under Entitlement, you can see the total amount of benefits utilized and the remaining balance left. Under Enrollment Status, you can also find the total number of employees enrolled and the following statuses. Active means employees have logged into their benefits account and have also either visited a panel provider or made a non-panel claim. Logged in means employees have activated their benefits account by creating a password but have not yet visited a panel provider or made a claim. Inactive means employees have no activity on the benefits app as they haven't created a password or logged into their account yet. You can also review your billing status here, which will display your statement balance and any recent payments made. Lastly, a notification bar will appear if you have any outstanding payments or changes to your company account status that requires your immediate attention. If this is your first time logging in, you will find actions to guide your account setup. Your company's employee tiers and schemes would have already been set up by our customer success team. Now, you can begin enrolling your employees. Here, you can select batch enrollment or single enrollment. Batch enrollment is recommended if you're enrolling more than a couple employees. Download the template provided and fill it in with the specified format requirements and then upload the file back here. Once successfully enrolled, you may proceed to schedule a notification for employees to activate and log into their benefits account. Please note that you will only be able to take this step if there are no outstanding invoices to be paid. This step can also be done at a later stage as well, which will be covered later in this video. Lastly, to complete employee enrollment, you will be prompted to allocate the entitlement balance for each employee. You may choose to provide every employee with the same balance as their scheme's annual entitlement with this option on the right. However, if you're switching to benefits in the middle of the year, where some employees may have already used some of their benefits entitlement, please select Allocate Now to update each employee's benefits balance to date. Now that all of your employees are enrolled, you can view and search for employees, edit their profiles, and view their benefit schemes. Select the employee you wish to remove and go to the Settings tab where you will find the Remove Employee button. Then you'll be prompted with a few simple steps before confirming deletion. But don't worry, if you remove an employee by accident, you can select Restore Employee and they will reappear. To add, edit, or remove employee's dependents account, click on the Dependents tab where you can input their information. In the Benefits tab, you can view your company's benefits tiers and schemes and also update entitlement allocations. In the Activities tab, you can view both panel and non-panel transactions made by employees. Payments via Benefits indicates transactions made directly from the Benefits app. Payments made out of pocket indicate payments made directly by employees, meaning that these transactions are not billed to the company. The Claims tab is where non-panel claim submissions by employees can be reviewed, approved, or rejected. You can review receipts submitted here. If you reject a claim, you will also be prompted to provide a reason. You can also see the total number of claims submitted the amount approved, the amount pending review, and the amount rejected. You may also download bulk transactions within your selected date range. In the Account tab, you can edit your company information, update your password or primary administrator, and view your company's employee enrollment history. 
Under Actions, you can send an activation email or SMS to employees to activate their account or reschedule the send date. The Billing tab is where you can find your company's paid and pending invoices and check if you have any outstanding invoices. Your outstanding balance is shown here. If you need to edit your company's billing information, you may also do so here. If your company has purchased prepaid credits, you can view your available credit balance here and the number of credits used here. If you have any questions regarding your prepaid credits account, please reach out to our customer success team by emailing cs at benefits.com. Need help? Access Get Help here at the top of the portal to find frequently asked questions and access to our support lines. Thank you for choosing benefits and thank you for watching this video.